Hello and welcome back to another video on the As A Nice channel. As we record this video, Cookie Clicker comes out on Steam. So I'm doing a first impressions video on that. And then I might do like a more in-depth playthrough where I just, or I might do some like live stream or something. But back to the strategy. So because we're going towards the late game here, there won't be many additional strats. I'll just be reminding you things. So in this clip, I actually have 75 times my previous prestige level, or prestige level was about 1 billion before, now it's 75 billion, so definitely perfect place to send. Make sure you do buy a lot of every building uh, towards the end of the ascension, as I've always saying, to get the achievements for up to 550 of every building. Um, you go with the cheapest first, that's, that's how I do it. As long as you have the sell back for 70 for, for more, it'll be better in affording like your last set of buildings. And also, if you haven't already at this point, um, got the achievements for 200 reindeer or 200 wrinkler popped. Make sure you go for those before you ascend just to have them. And then if you want tips for the getting the Eldeer achievement, which is popping um, and a deer during the Elder Frenzy, uh, just obviously during the Christmas season, uh, whenever you see a raft cookie on screen, I'll just, just wait until a reindeer spawns and then click the raft cookie when the reindeer spawns and then hope that it's the Elder Frenzy. That's an easier way to make it happen because the timings don't always uh, sync up with each other. So just wait whenever uh, a Wrath Cookie appears on screen. So here I'm talking about uh, where to get the Communal Brain Sweep. Uh, I used to not go for this upgrade, but for the latest of the game, you want the best uh, combo, which is Frenzy, Elder Frenzy, and then Click Frenzy from its spell. So you want to buy the Communal Brain Sweep when you're close to the end game because then you have a higher chance of getting the Elder Frenzies because there'll be more rough cookies. So that's why I do go for those uh, later. In my garden, I've, I've got a few extra plants. I've got two chicka roots growing and I'm gonna make sure that they grow before I ascend because sometimes I forget you have to make sure you harvest them before you ascend, otherwise you don't unlock the plant and they have to be mature when you harvest them. All right, so I've harvested the chicka root, so I've unlocked the plant and now I'm ready to ascend. So we're coming very close to having all the heavenly upgrades. So since we have 75 billion, we could just spend it on some of the cheaper ones. Uh, I was actually very close to getting the fortune cookie one. So if you can, I would push for 77 billion heavenly chips because the fortune cookies are actually a really good upgrade. So if you are kind of at the stage, if you want to save up to 77 billion, it will be a bit faster because the fortune cookies are very strong. Here I'm just, uh, you know, putting my most expensive thing in the heavenly upgrade slot, or the cookies for getting like 400 of every building because obviously that's going to be more expensive. The upgrade itself so it won't be expensive, but getting the buildings for that will be expensive. So you got to keep that in mind as well when you're doing that. All right, so I've got the the cat ladies. I'm just going to spend like all the heavenly chips. Right, you want to get sugar cookies? That one's very good. Um, basically just to spend all your heavenly chips. I mean at this point if you can't afford the, the fortune cookies just get everything that you can afford because it doesn't really matter. But next extension go for those fortune cookies. There's uh, more cookies you can unlock which are each 333 billion heavenly chips so you get those later. Um, for the cosmic beginner's luck upgrade I don't really uh, I don't really like care too much about it. You just have a higher chance of getting seasonal events without uh, but you don't get any CPS, but you're going to get the seasonal events anyway um, in the late stages because your sentence will be longer, so I wouldn't really worry about So I have a pretty big time skip here just using the same strategies, but what I'm showing now is that you can keep refreshing um, to get until you want the plant that you want to mutate. The blake berry is a pretty low chance of mutating, so uh, make sure you have the wood chip soil and then Put two mature uh, baker's wheats, and I put it in the most the the, the optimal farm setup, and then you just keep refreshing until you get the baked berry. Uh, you can do that for some plants to make it a bit faster if you want. Um, I don't usually do it. I only do it if it's if it takes too long to get a plant. But I mean, if you're refreshing for like spells, you must have gone out and save scum the most of the game. I, it just makes it fair. I think if you you don't use the savings method then it will take an insanely long time to beat the game especially to get the, the last achievement of um 
one virgintillion, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure what the number is, but it's, it's a very high number. Um, and to do it even with the, the safe scumming of the, of the grimoire still takes a very long time. I did make a more in-depth garden tutorial. If you want to know more about the garden, you can check that video. It'll be linked in the description. Okay, so finally the ascensions have slowed down enough um, for me to finally complete the Christmas season. I got all the biscuits. Um, it, it takes quite a while, but now that I've done that, um, next time uh, the Christmas season happens, I'll get them. I'll get the cookies. The cookies will drop more frequently since I have that achievement. Now we can finally move on to the next few seasons. I just go straight to the Valentine's one because you can get it over instantly. I will just give you a few upgrades. Some of them have carried on from previous ascensions because I got a heavenly upgrade about that. And then the next one you want to go is for the, get the bunny biscuit for the Easter season because this has a lot of rewards as well. Gets you a lot of eggs. Uh, you can get eggs by bursting wrinklers, clicking golden cookies. Yeah, by, yeah, by those two. Bursting wrinklers and golden cookies will both give you eggs. Um, so make sure you just pop all the wrinklers here. Um, if you don't already have the wrinkler achievement for popping 200, you can get it now. And you don't have to wait for the wrinkler to eat anything um, before popping it. You can just pop it instantly, so that's fine. One thing to say, there is one egg called the chocolate egg, and you don't want to purchase that until the very end of your ascension. Because what it does is it, it has... Um, the chocolate egg will take 5% of your bank and then add it onto it. So it doesn't matter what buffs you have. It just matters that you have a lot of cookies in your bank. So right before you ascend, so you get so you get a really good combo, you have a lot of cookies, and then before you spend your money or ascend, you want to use the chocolate egg. So that's all you need to know for the Easter season. Uh, the, the next season you should go for is the Halloween season. This involves some extra biscuits and you get them from only popping wrinklers. That's how you get the Halloween cookies. For business day, there isn't any cookies or upgrades to unlock on that, so you've finished all the seasons once you've done the Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, and Halloween. I mean, that's all I have to say for now. The next videos will finally won't have to be voiceovered anymore because I that is when I realized that my mic wasn't recording. So um, stick around for that, stick around for uh, the Steam release that I'll do a video on, maybe some streams. Um, if you did like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, I'll read them. I'll see you guys later.